non-vintage wine. So I have, for example, a uh, Prosecco right here. Doesn't say, doesn't even say non-vintage or NV that you'll see on uh, on some sparkling wines or champagnes. Doesn't even say NV. Just uh, just doesn't have a vintage date. So let's say I tried this wine five years ago and really liked it, and I've just found this bottle again. How do I know? because it doesn't say the year, it's going to taste exactly the same as when I tried it five years ago. Well, the problem is, you don't. A lot of wines are non-vintage. You'll, you'll find it a lot with, uh, with, with sparkling wines, even, you know, higher-end sparkling wines. Also, you know, ultra-cheap uh, whites and reds, and even some, you know, moderately priced uh, reds and whites. So, the problem is, you really don't know what to expect. The uh, wines like this try and maintain what they call like a house style, so hopefully, not always, you know, you will notice a little bit of variation uh, from what you can recall five years ago or whatever. Uh, they're not going to take the wine from being like ultra sweet to like ultra dry or vice versa or anything like that. They're going to try and maintain their house style. So that's, you know, non-vintage wines, you really don't know what to expect. The one saving grace is that they're normally fairly affordable. So, cheers.